Hey, yo, what's going on with y'all boys, man? It's CGODB. Uh, how, how y'all doing tonight? Let me know down in the comment section. Um, yeah, I appreciate y'all, um, you know, giving your insight on the last video. Um, some of y'all had some pretty cool lineups that you came out with. Um, you know, opened up some different ideas and stuff, which is pretty cool to see. Um, but th this video tonight, though, is just going to be on the different... Um, predictions and stuff that are being made and uh specifically an article that i saw and um just my thoughts on their their predictions on the western conference rankings and um kind of giving my my opinions uh going off of theirs but yeah so as you can see on the graphic right here you know denver they're gonna have some dogs right they're gonna have, they're gonna get a lot of the guys back um the warriors are just gonna be even better uh Cur curry won a chip with you know with clay not even being that like <laughs> not even being at like 60 percent of his former self and then then also you know just having andrew wiggins as their star like i don't know plus they're gonna have kaminga and stuff back um just another year just getting way better they're gonna have wiseman back <sighs> the warriors are gonna be nasty for sure um and the Grizzlies, there's there's a lot of teams that that um, you know it's it's gonna make the Western Conference pretty fun to watch, but it's gonna be tough as hell. I'll tell you that. Um, yeah, I mean let's let's get into this article though. So, uh, this is they're ranking it by division. So first Pacific Division, which is ours: uh, Clippers, Kings, Lakers, Suns, Warriors, the Pack Div. So in tier one, they say that the Warriors and the Suns are are the best in in this Pacific division, which I disagree. I I, I have the Suns. Um, I think they're gonna take a, a small hit this year. So a lot of people have them being like six seed, which I don't think they're gonna drop that much. I think they're probably gonna be like fourth. Um, that's a pretty good range for them. So personally, I'd have the Suns in tier two. Tier one, I'd have uh, the Clippers and in uh, Warriors. Um, that that's honestly my prediction for the Western Conference. I expect us to meet the Warriors, and um, it's gonna be a showdown. It's gonna be a showdown for sure. Uh, we haven't seen them since 2018 uh, slash 19 playoffs when um, we took the Warriors to six games with pretty much a whole role player team. You know, led by Lou Williams, uh, Gallinari, Rookie Shea, and stuff. Pat Bev, everybody, man. Um, it was a good times, but that was when they were the when they had a uh, when they're in their peak with KD and stuff. But I think the Warriors, their their dynasty is it's gonna keep on rolling. Um, they have a lot of young talent, as well as you know the superstars and stuff. And then Curry, obviously being you know um, arguably the greatest point guard ever. You know I don't I don't exactly have him over Magic yet, but um, yeah, I mean still. They are a threat. The Suns are a threat too. Don't get me wrong, but um, another year with Chris Paul, um, they didn't really handle the DeAndre Ayton stuff. Um, you know, 100% is planned. Um, I I bet they would say that for sure. And um, Devin Booker, I think he's gonna show out once again, of course. But I don't know, man. I think teams are gonna start to figure them out a little bit more. They're still gonna be a great team, but. Obviously not like a 64 win team or whatever they were this year. 62 wins. I forgot, but yeah, so tier one. Um, only difference I make, I'd switch us with the Suns. Uh, tier two, they have us and the Lakers, which is incredibly disrespectful, man. Honestly, I think the Lakers, they, they might, they may do even worse this season, guys. I hate to admit it. You know, I'd be sweating bullets right now if I was a Laker fan because they haven't um, if I was a Laker fan and they didn't haven't traded Russ even like a month and a half ago, I would have been like extremely worried. So by now, uh, man, they're just in a dark place. They're just in a sunken place right now, man. Um, I feel bad for y'all. Uh, definitely, tier two should be more so the Suns and um, I don't know. Well, I guess you could put the Suns and the Lakers because I don't think the Kings are <laughs> are tier two yet. But, yeah, I mean, 
Lakers, I definitely they're gonna be towards the bottom of the Pacific Division, Western Conference too. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't know how what they're thinking because their their roster management and everything, or the whole fit and lineup just looks pretty shitty. So, um, I don't know. Hopefully Patrick Beverly, he hopefully he has a good season. But overall, I mean, the Lakers, they just. I don't know what they're going to do. They they should have traded LeBron and AD for some assets or something for the future and just started the rebuild cuz you know, especially if they're thinking about trading more picks and stuff, it's just you know, fool's gold, fool's gold. Tier 3, of course, you got the Kings. Um yeah, I'm fine with that, you know. So, Kings tier 3, tier 2, uh Suns Lake Suns and Lakers and then uh Tier one would be us and the Warriors. Those are the only changes I make. Yeah, I mean the Kings. Um, they made that risk trading Taliburn for Sabonis, which you know I just I didn't really get the thought process behind it to be honest. But the Kings they could be pretty solid. Um, definitely like a six through eight seed um, if things go well. That's if things go well. I don't. You know, they got that really good rookie, and then Davion Mitchell's pretty nice, De'Aaron Fox. Um, they have some pretty solid pieces, but they just, for some reason, they can't just put it together. But we'll see, man. They're going to show, they're gonna have to show me first. Um, but they have them going 32 and 50. Next one. Um, this is the other division in the West Conference, uh, Nuggets and Timberwolves. Yeah, I mean, they're both going to be really nasty. The T-Wolves got a really interesting lineup, um, interesting fit with Gobert and, and um, you know, and, and Cat. And then you got Ant-Man, and then you got D-Lo. They got a lot of really good pieces over there. Um, of course, you know, Pat Bev, they let him go for some reason. I didn't think that was smart, but... Yeah, I mean, the Nuggets are going to get their guys back as well. Um, overall, though, I mean, the teams that warned me so far is, you know, the Warriors and the Nuggets. Um, just because they have, you know, number 15, Jokic right there, man. Jokic is, I don't know why, man. He's just, he's, he's, he's just really, really tough, man. He just opens up the floor for everybody else with his vision and stuff. And, and, um, just being such a tough guard, you know. Uh, Zubak is our best matchup against him. Um, you see, last time we played the Timberwolves, we neutralized Cat pretty well with the game plan, but unfortunately still lost. Ran out of steam towards the end. But, yeah, I mean, these two teams are going to be really, really good. Um, I'm not too worried with us being healthy and facing the T-Wolves. The I think we could edge them out. But the Nuggets, is it will be a tough matchup for sure. Um, let me see next one. So Trailblazers and Jazz. Um, who they got tier three? Jazz and Thunder. I don't know why they got the Jazz in tier two and tier three, but yeah, I mean, anyways. So the Trailblazers. I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do. I mean, they got Jeremy Grant, right? I mean, they got da Damian Lillard. I hope he has a pretty nice season and stuff. Um, but I don't know the Jazz. They they gutted the roster. Obviously, they just traded Donovan Mitchell. Um, but yeah, I mean both these teams. I'm not looking. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not. I'm not looking forward to anything great from either of them. The Thunder. Uh, they're just gonna keep on working in their young guys, rebuilding and stuff. Not much of a threat to us either. Um. Yeah, and by the way, the Clippers absolutely killed the Jazz. They we broke them once uh we came back with that team man 39 point game. That's when things kind of fell apart for them. So the Clippers get credit for taking out the Jazz. Um the Mavericks don't get credit for that. Just had to slide that in, but yeah, the Thunder, I mean Shea Gilgis, he's going to hopefully have a really great year. I hope he goes off. Um Chet Holmgren you know, uh, they got Giddy. They they got a lot of talent over there. Just gonna take a couple more seasons. Um, but yeah, I mean, hopefully they keep it up. You know, I I like the Thunder. They're a pretty cool team, especially because they got Shea and Shea's 
you know, being a former Clipper, part of the reason what made me a Clipper fan, he's, you know, he's um, he's up there on my top favorite players list right now, current players. So, yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on them. No threat to us, though. But here, right here, Southwest Division, Grizzlies, Mavericks, Pelicans, Rockets, Spurs. So, I can see a few threats to us in this division right here. Um... Yeah, I mean, the Grizzlies and Mavericks, Tier 1, obviously. Uh, the Mavericks, they're pretty tough for us, um, only because Luka, he's, he's, he's a really spectacular player. But Mavericks, honestly, I, I think with us fully healthy and them fully healthy, it's, you know, they lost Brunson and stuff. They got Christian Wood, but um, I'm not too worried, honestly, if we had to face them again. We kind of got their number, as much as their fans hate to admit it. You know, but you can't celebrate losing, guys. You can't do that. So, um, who cares how many points Luca drops if you guys are taking the L? Uh, but the Grizzlies, um, you know, they they played. They had some really sloppy moments in the playoffs and stuff. And unfortunately, John Morant got hurt for them during their last series. But I think that they would be a pretty tough matchup for us because they got really quality role players like we do. They have a nice bench. John Morant, we have tough guarding those shifty, you know, athletic point guards like him. Um, they got Jaron Jackson. I think the Grizzlies are a potential threat to us for sure. Way way more so than the Mavericks, in my opinion. Um, but, yeah, um, both really solid teams. I think the, the Grizzlies should be up there for real. Uh, tier 2, Pelicans. They should be nice. Zion's going to come back. Um Obviously, they've been like a thorn in our heel like last season or two. Um, I don't know why. They've just been having our number, the Pelicans. So I got to put them down as a threat to us, honestly, as well. Like if they come out and they play up to their potential, it could be scary, guys. It could be scary. So um, I put them on the list as well. Uh, Rockets and Spurs, um, te two teams I'm not really worried about. I mean, they got some... Um, the Rockets specifically have some really great young guys and stuff, but you just got to keep on molding them into, you know, just being more refined NBA players. The Spurs, um, they got a player that I wouldn't mind being on the Clippers. If we somehow got like a Keldon Johnson, that'd be pretty good. Uh, I like that fit on the, on the Clippers, but yeah, I mean, these two teams not really worried about them, but this is. Uh, I forgot the website name. I think it was medium.com or something. But this is their standings prediction, and I disagree. You know, I'm going to have to make some changes. All right, so Warriors, number one. All right, that's fair if you want to do that. I'm not paying attention to their predicted records, to be honest, but because, you know, I think all of them look pretty bad. So I'm just going off the rankings, though. Number one being the Warriors, that's fine. Number two, I feel like you got to have us, the Nuggets, or the Grizzlies, number two. I feel like, you know, you got to have us and the Nuggets or the Grizzlies in that two through four range. Um, number five, I'd probably have, I'd probably have uh, the Mavericks or the T-Wolves. Um, then after them, maybe I'd say the Pelicans secure like a seventh seed, sixth seed. Um, the Pelicans could even be a fifth seed. It, you know, that five through seven range is kind of interchangeable because you never know. Uh, the T Wolves could, you know, if everyone plays up to their potential, they could be really nasty. Um, the Pelicans could be really great as well. The Lakers, I'd have them more towards like the 10 to 12 range, to be honest. They could be like a playing team. Um, it's very possible that we play them in the first round if they are a playing team, um, which, you know, I'd love to see us smoke them for an entire series. That'd be incredibly entertaining. I'd be down for that. Um, but yeah, I mean, then you got the bottom of the barrel teams, you know, Blazers, Kings, Jazz, Spurs, Rockets, Thunder. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's just how I think things will shake up. I don't agree with this list, obviously. Um, I got us more so in like the two to four range, five at the very least. Um, you know, 
But yeah, I mean, overall, it's going to be really, really tough, man. It's going to be tough. And the whole team's just going to have to band together and just get through all the rough stretches and stuff. And just um, hopefully, you know, most importantly, I'd rather not be regular season heroes. You know, that's cool if we win like 60-something games. <laughs> that would be amazing to see. But I'm, I'm more concerned, you know, I'd be, I'm fine with winning like 54, 55 games. And and everyone being healthy, hundred percent, you know, just fresh going into playoffs. I'd most so more so prefer that than being the new Phoenix Suns. You know how they flamed out last year, being regular season heroes. But I mean, let me know your your guys' like predictions and stuff. Overall, I think the biggest threats to us would be the Grizzlies, Nuggets, um, Pelicans, and possibly the t-wolves um but yeah i mean that's that's just in my opinion those are like the four or five teams i think we got to look out for and of course the warriors uh if i didn't say that already but yeah comment down below let me know what you think this is about all i had to say for tonight just a little chill video you know but uh yeah i mean hit the like button you know all that shit stay blessed have a good night cgodb signing out Peace.